cinematic Jesus officially supposed to be off today. Not that I mind that I have to work because of the uh, the waterfront spot is no more. They got rid of. They threw our, threw our security asses out the window. So there's no more uh, waterfront. So I was called like an hour ago to come into work here, which was good, which is very good. So this episode is sponsored by coffee. Are we calling them episodes now that it's just cinematic Jesus? I was going to go fucking see some fucking bands in Brooklyn. But plans are changed. A running theme in 2018, right? Is that it? Is this music going to be all too loud over there? My brain definitely hurts this past week. Ah, uh, you have no idea. <laughs> I guess if... Uh, you start calling yourself Cinematic Jesus, even though I, I didn't drop the other name when I first uh, started referring to the whole uh, thing as Cinematic Jesus shit. If you're going to refer to yourself as Cinematic Jesus, uh, Jesus, the universe and the gods above, they will make sure that some cinematic shit happens in your retarded life. <laughs> cinematic shit will happen. In, in the span of a fucking week when you call upon the name of Jesus Christ and associate it with your name. <laughs> the motherfuckers will sit back and make you want to be able to part the fucking waters and shit. Or wa- have people walk across the fucking uh, the Red Seas or whatever the fuck. So, uh, cinematic Jesus, uh, I lost track of what I was saying because some ladies over there looking this way. I don't know if it's another god or not. I should adjust my shirt because I feel that like part of my gut is exposed because wind is touching it or whatever the fuck. So, uh, yes, changes the cinematic uh, universe are now uh, very cinematic, if that made sense at all. <laughs> but uh, what happened? All right, let's see. From uh, magical miscarriages to, to disasters, divorces, and everything in between, this is a cinematic uh, Jesus exclusive. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I don't know if I even want to discuss it. I was thinking I need to really make a dark, dark film. Like some shit I never fucked with before. Just, just the the name, the uh, magical, magical miscarriage tour is, is pretty fucking dark. And I'm not wishing a miscarriage on anyone, obviously, because that's like fucked up, next level, Hitler, Osama bin Laden shit or whatever. That's like that CIA fucking shit that I don't, I, I don't fuck with voodoo and shit. Even though I've, 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 I've uh, may have said, said that I had to uh, some people in the past and then when I did say it two days later a motherfucker not two days later less than a week later a motherfucker was dead I was like oh fuck <laughs> I can't even talk and, and, and lie and, and, and say I did voodoo on someone I didn't actually do the voodoo I was just like I did voodoo and explained what it was what I did which I didn't do to this person and then like less than a week later they died <laughs> So maybe I shouldn't talk about magical miscarriages because uh, the universe is fucking, fucking weird. Not saying just because I I told someone that I was gonna, that I did voodoo on somebody and they actually fucking died. I mean, I don't actually think in all reality that I was responsible for that or whatever. But, uh, that means I've got at least one body on my fucking hand. Actually, possibly two, but... <laughs> that's a whole other fucking movie right there. Which you could find somewhere on YouTube. If you look deep enough in the... In, in, if you want to really go down the, the uh, old name rabbit hole, if you will. And I'm not talking about a girl that we used to go to high school with, vagina. 
That's a reference. No one knows that. Uh, or you have to really think about it. It could work. I'm not going to explain it. So, like I said, I'm not wishing, obviously, miscarriage on anyone because that's fucked up. And as far as I know, the child is already here. <laughs> but uh, definitely when that news was, uh, I stumbled across, I uh, honestly kind of wish I had heroin somewhere in the vicinity <laughs> or an opiate of some sort. But uh, that's stupid. You got to be positive. Uh, like Uncle Joey says, you know, you're not really supposed to be living in one place your whole fucking life. That's stupid. You're not supposed to have just one career your whole fucking life. That's not how shit works. People do have it, obviously. You know some of those souls. But, uh, you know. You can't be fucking 38 years old doing the same fucking shit. And if you, if you do wait too long, which is evident in this case of magical miscarriages... Uh, in this case of having to go on the magical uh, miscarriage tour, then uh, that's what happens. You pronasticate. Don't pronasticate. Don't sit in a security vehicle listening to rap music made by white people from Boston. Uh, I don't know how much sleep I got last night, but I got coffee. I got Starbucks coffee. I don't fuck around. I guess this is... Oh, well, this isn't the first Cinematic Jesus video, because uh, I did do some videos from the last day, which I didn't know to after, at the water, at the river, waterfront, riverfront, whatever. So, yeah, on the way home, I got a call. Like, oh, yeah, they cut us from the side because it, he blamed it on the other god, which whatever. Which... I sure as hell know it wasn't my fault. But, uh... All right, that's it for now. <laughs> in this uh, place in Yonkers still, of course, for now. And, uh... That's it for now. Cinematic Jesus in a parking lot. Not wishing uh, miscarriages or anything weird on anyone. But I do want to make a really dark, weird film with candles and... And, and, and uh, uh, fetuses and shit, which obviously comes from a dark place. And a dark thought, even though, uh, whatever. I guess sometimes if you just have a thought, people think you're a fucking monster. But that's the whole point of horror movies, right? Is to, uh, yo, do we have access to, like, home goods and monsters? Oh, that lady was just waiting for someone to show up. To See, that sucks. You work at a fucking store, a store or whatever, and you gotta sit there and wait for someone else to show up. What time is it? Because I bet you that. See, because that lady, that black lady, was sitting there waiting dumb long for that other lady to show up to work so she can get inside. It's 9:27. You know that other lady's probably supposed to be there by 9 o'clock, and that black lady was waiting there dumb long for for the other lady to get to work so she could get in. That's fuck everyone. Everyone should have keys. If you don't, if you don't have keys, they should adjust the shift so you don't. You're not scheduled to come into an hour after the person that... You should just fucking hire, uh, uh, hire fucking uh, call, uh, people that could get to work on time. <laughs> if I could preach about anything, it's about getting to work on time. Anything else, I can't. But I, I know how to get to fucking work on time. Only good thing they said about me in that uh, building of bar the barrier, uh, uh, the, uh, the holder of knowledge. The building of the holder of knowledge. The key to 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 to, to uh, knowledge. Uh, yeah, they, they they definitely said couldn't say I ever got the word late. All right, that's it for now. Cinematic Jesus, so much fucking blood to be shed. Not literally, but you know what I mean. That's it.